When it comes to the men events that we've been doing, a lot of the men that have been reaching out to us community wise, men are from what I'm seeing now, looking for a community. I think men have always been looking for mm -hmm. a community, but now it's more open and they want a different version of what community is outside of sports. They don't want it to just be built around who's getting a touchdown or who's dunking on who, which I think that's nice to see that verbal growth out loud. Um, so with that being said, now... When it comes to healing, I tell folks that healing doesn't just mean, oh, you you go hard. Okay, cool. That that works. I, I do deserve that. <laughs> I have won a lot of games. I can't <laughs> complain out loud about that. But anywho, when it comes to um, focusing and healing and putting yourself together, it really comes down to Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to play. I'm going to play this. Yeah, that one works better. It comes down to once you heal, you change as a person. And when you change as a person, you've technically given birth to a newer version of yourself. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. Yeah. Um, but he has some trauma there uh, with people transitioning. And he was like, I need you to be in the hands of people who can help you mm -hmm. um and she actually she ended up getting stuck god dang <laughs> she she was not making this last trip of yours easy Listen, at all if it was a sign of things to come she did a good job because mm -hmm. <laughs> that is uh that is my baby but yeah. yeah she ended up getting stuck but he he actually told me that um if he could do it again he would opt for the home birth Mm -hmm. even with her getting stuck. Okay. Do you think it is a part of the doula's criteria of work to talk to the man about maybe getting snipped at a certain point? Like, hey, man, you don't think that's enough kids? Or like, hey, man, you guys have this life ahead of you. But like the last couple of processes was like really, really hard on your wife. And your partner, is this something you would consider? And does that tie into mental health as a discussion? Mental health, the hell out of this whole thing. It mental definitely it ties into mm -hmm. mental health. Um, I do think that it is a responsibility to both parties mm -hmm. and the child because you also have to realize. And the child? Yes, because how the child comes in, that can be a traumatic experience, too. Mm -hmm. um, just coming through the birth canal itself is, can be traumatic. Yeah. And so what type of space are they entering in? Is it loud? Is it chaotic? Mm -hmm. Is it welcoming? Yeah. And so when the mother has certain feelings towards being pregnant or, damn, I'm pregnant again, mm -hmm. and this is my absolute last one, that plays a role in how the child gets here. So I think there is a responsibility to be able to have that conversation. Ultimately, it's up to them. Um, but absolutely, especially when women go in and they do it for themselves, that's more invasive than a mm -hmm. man going and getting a vasectomy. Really? That's the actual, like, you going in, they're going in and removing your tubes because they don't just tie them now and they don't just burn them now. They remove the tubes. That's a whole full surgery. It's a full recovery. That's that's not I can just walk in, quick snip, and walk out and go get me a donut. That's talking about weeks to months of yes. healing. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. Um, so having that conversation and educating people. As a woman, do you... Wait, actually, were you finished? I don't want to cut you off. No, I was finished. Done. As a woman, do you ever see some of these medical practices and think, is there a better way or option to all this stuff that's being done across the board? Because ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Every day? Yeah. Especially when we talk about gynecology and mm -hmm. women giving birth. Yeah. Even down to how they intervene when my youngest got stuck, mm -hmm. they actually pulled my partner in to help facilitate. It was chaotic, mm -hmm. and it didn't have to be that way. Yeah, there I've seen doulas when either the shoulders got stuck, how they coached the women to be able to 
maneuver the baby to come out in a way that is nurturing and loving and supportive mm -hmm. um or like a breech birth yeah in the what's hospital a, a it is birth? It, where the feet the baby is coming out feet first okay um and that's dangerous because you don't know if the cord is wrapped around the baby's neck mm -hmm. so if they're coming out feet first then yeah yeah um so yeah there are ways that are less invasive mm -hmm. to be able to support someone who is given who is in labor and giving birth yeah so the term wipe a lot of ass right <laughs> The reason that's hilarious to me is uh, with a lot of these uh, men events, it's your turn, with a lot of these men events that we've been doing, right. <clears throat> right. uno, uno out, with a lot of these, oh dang, you, you was loaded, you was, I was about to let that thing sing, thank, thank you for not letting that thing sing, that, that was a chopper, mm, ch pow, pow, pow. nobody's keeping score, right? And the edits, I might keep score. Actually, I was thinking about. I was like, I should keep score. <laughs> I'm gonna have all these games, and it would it would behoove me to not keep score of all the games we've played, so folks could be like, all right, all right, she'll be back. She'll get them next time. You know, just I don't know. I, I told you, I'm gonna have you come on. Like I have, I've talked to a lot of folks, and I was like, no, you guys as professionals and the people that have shared stories to me need to come on to do in-depth talks because the first conversation we had is just the introduction you feel me now the education and the stories and the layers that's a completely separate animal that we're just gonna well, now peel now back the back layers because the number of l's i took on this table i wasn't judging i'm just saying you know not everyone not everyone had their day look i didn't get that much sleep so i'm like look i'm doing great okay <laughs> i think i'm doing a great job for someone who hasn't gotten an, a lot of sleep playing uno today and also you didn't have a heads up about no we i didn't uno. i wasn't in my uno headspace i haven't touched this deck since two years ago really yeah and i was just playing phase 10 on saturday i, suck at that too. I don't play a lot of games I don't. I'd be too busy plotting, planning, and executing and figure out what I need to do. Like, you know how many movies and shows I haven't watched? Because, like, work is, like, just... I'm, I'm obsessed in a very happy way with the work. Or, like, what can I bring to life? Or how much is it going to cost? Or I, what corners do I have to cut to, like, mm -hmm. do the thing? Like, you see, there's new equipment for the other yeah. concepts I'm working on. And, and that's just half the new equipment. I got, like bags of like oranges you're gonna see it's gonna be hot you you might have to be involved in one of the new shoots that i do after i turn the cameras on so, so i can let you know about it it's, it's gonna be dope because <laughs> this if it's uno again I uh -huh. <laughs> well i don't know how to play a lot of card games either that's a thing and i have two different uno decks that's the funny part i just have this color uno deck and i have like another one see look Oh, I like that color. That's yeah. very That's very Yeah, color. yeah, I got I got two different Uno decks. I'm, I'd stay with the Uno, okay? All right, I, I don't know if I could say I'd be in my bag, but I'd stay with the Uno. But anywho, so the reason that I speak on wiping ass so much is when it comes to the men events that we've been doing, a lot of the men that have been reaching out to us community-wise, men are from what i'm seeing now looking for a community i think men have always been looking for mm -hmm. a community but now it's more open and they want a different version of what community is outside of sports they don't want it to just be built around who's getting a touchdown or who's dunking on who which i think that's nice to see that verbal growth out loud um so with that being said now when it comes to healing, I tell folks that healing doesn't just mean, oh, you you go hard. Okay, cool. That that works. I, I do deserve that. <laughs> I have won a lot of games. I can't <laughs> complain out loud about that. But anywho, when it comes to um, focusing and healing and putting yourself together, it really comes down to Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to play. I'm going to play this. Yeah, that one works better. It comes down to once you heal, you change as a person. And when you change as a person, you've technically given birth to a newer version of yourself. And in giving birth to a newer version of yourself, you're going to have to wipe a lot of ass. You're going to have to see what does the baby like and not like. 
what does this newer version actually need and how much work goes into that? And I have like three examples of telling the men and the women whenever I talk to them that like healing isn't about you finally being in a place to get the solution for what the hurt is. Sometimes healing is being in a place that once you realize what the solution is, do you not have time to work on that thing bit by bit mm -hmm. and putting it together? And do you need community for that? Or is it just you and whatever that healing looks like? And then how do you keep your healing from becoming a trauma? Because sometimes there's people who are so obsessed with the healing that once they get that, that becomes their trauma because now it's like, I can't live without it. And it's like, oh, no, 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 let's not do that. That's not, that's not, healing isn't supposed to be an addiction. Right. It's not. <laughs> and you do need to take breaks. Yeah. Is it my turn? Am yeah, I my turn? Okay, my bad. My bad. You know, so I was in my I was in my bag with that little speech, that little healing speech. I like that analogy though. The wiping ass. Mm hmm I have to wipe a lot of ass. It's okay, guys. Gotta just wipe a lot of ass. It's cool. That's all right. What's that? That's a six or a nine? A nine. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's cool. Appreciate you. You could go ahead now. So how do you feel about healing as a concept and is it really necessary?